Is it the right time to make a move on Ford stock? Let's take a closer look. We released an initial report on our website on Wednesday, December 13, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more in-depth analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and enable notifications. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with our latest analysis and won't miss any important updates that could impact your investments. Want to improve your trading decisions? Give our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, a try at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of artificial intelligence and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Keep in mind that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since December 4, 2023, our system has identified Ford as a buy candidate, with a score of 3.13. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a gain of 5.05%. This equates to an average daily return of 0.63% since it was classified as a buy candidate. Based on the current three-month trend, there is a potential minus 18.29% change in the next three months, with a possible return between minus 36.17% and minus 18.29%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 8.58% change over the next year, with a potential return between minus 22.14% and 19.78%. This means the price could range from $8.75 to $13.46 after a year. Our latest update on Ford's stock price reveals a stronger technical forecast after Wednesday's trading. On Wednesday, December 13, 2023, the Ford stock price increased by 0.717%, going from $11.16 to $11.24. This marks the sixth consecutive day of gains for the stock. While it is uncommon for stocks to maintain a winning streak for so long, it is important to anticipate occasional dips. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated between a low of $10.80 and a high of $11.29, a 4.54% difference. Over the past 10 days, the price has risen in 8 instances, resulting in a 6.14% increase over the past 2 weeks. Notably, trading volume also increased on the last day, which is a positive indication. Additionally, there were 20 million more shares traded compared to the previous day, with a total of 60 million shares exchanged, amounting to approximately $677.33 million. Looking at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks, the highest price reached was $15.42, while the lowest was $9.63. At present, the price is 27.11% or $4.18 lower than the 52-week high and 56.55% or $14.63 lower than the all-time high on January 13, 2022, when it reached $25.87. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, December 6, 2023, Citigroup gave F a hold grade with a hold action. On Wednesday, November 1, 2023, Burrell and Company upgraded F to overweight with an upgrade action. On Wednesday, November 1, 2023, Barclays also upgraded F to overweight with an upgrade action. On Wednesday, October 25, 2023, UBS initiated coverage on F with a by grade and an initialize action. On Tuesday, August 1, 2023, Daiwa gave F a neutral grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Ford stock a strong buy rating overall. They rate the P-E ratio and price to book as strong buy. However, for return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. Today's chart shows mostly positive signals for Ford. The stock is supported by buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive forecast. Additionally, the relation between these two signals confirms a general buy signal as the short-term average is above the long-term average. In case of downward corrections, support can be expected at $10.94 and $10.42. However, a breakdown below these levels would trigger sell signals. On Thursday, November 9, 2023, 
a buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point. Since then, the stock has risen by 15.88%. This suggests that further rise is likely until a new top pivot is found. Moreover, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, also indicates a buy signal. The volume of trading is increasing along with the price, which is considered a positive technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a buy signal. Pivots show a buy signal 24 days ago. Bollinger bands indicate a buy signal one day ago. The short-term moving average shows a sell signal 11 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal 9 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 7 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see. The short moving average shows a buy signal 16 days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a sell signal 91 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 83 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for Ford. On the downside, Ford stock has some key support levels to watch out for. Currently, there is support just below today's level at $10.26 and $9.96. Support levels are important because they indicate areas where the stock has historically found buying interest. If the current support level at $10.26 is broken, the stock may fall further to the next support level at $9.96 and $9.77. It's important to note that whenever a stock tests a support level, there is a natural risk involved. If the support level is broken, it could signal a potential downward move in the stock price. In this case, Ford support levels act as safety nets for the stock. When considering the risk associated with Ford stock, it is important to assess its average movements during the day and trading volume. Ford typically experiences moderate volatility with average daily price movements of $0.490 or 4.54% between the high and low. Over the past week, the stock has shown a daily average volatility of 2.38%. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for Ford, let's start by understanding some important fundamental data. One crucial metric is the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A lower P-E ratio could indicate that investors have lower expectations for the company's future or that the stock is undervalued, presenting a possible buying opportunity. Moving on, the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for February 01, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates for this report stand at $0.140. It's crucial to keep an eye on these figures as they can significantly influence stock prices. Today, we'll be looking into potential day trading levels for Ford. If the stock is experiencing an upward trend, the first resistance level we need to keep an eye on is at $12. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before considering a position. However, if you already own Ford stock, this could be a promising level for swing trading. On the other hand, if the stock is facing a downward trend, we should pay attention to the first support level at $10.26. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point with the expectation of a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Ford has received a strong buy rating on average. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On December 8, 2023, John Douglas Field, an insider, purchased 182,000 shares of common stock, with a par value of 1 cent. On December 1, 2023, William Clay Ford Jr., another insider, bought 62 shares of Ford stock units. John B. Vehmeyer, on the same day, acquired 2,670 shares of Ford stock units. William W. Hellman also made an insider purchase on December 1, 2023, buying 696 shares of Ford stock units. Additionally, Kimberly A. Cassiano bought 3,151 shares of Ford stock units on the same day. 
Taking into account the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power ratio stands at a positive 31.917. Overall, insiders have purchased a total of 2,779,171 shares and sold 1,378,717 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss for this stock is set at $10.73, which represents a decrease of 4.55%. This particular stock tends to have moderate daily movements, resulting in a medium level of risk. We have identified a buy signal from a pivot bottom that was observed 23 days ago. Is Ford stock a good buy? Despite the stock being in a falling trend, there are several positive short-term signals. This suggests that the current level may present a buying opportunity, with a fair chance for the stock to perform well in the short term. Our analysis has been upgraded from a hold-slash-accumulate to a buy candidate since the last evaluation. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, December 14th, we anticipate Ford to open down $0.130 and commence trading at $11.11. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always recommended to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us is not a basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. We're excited to share our current view of the stock with you. We want to hear your thoughts too, so don't forget to comment below. What's your target for the stock? Like and subscribe to stay updated with our content. Our team at Stock Invest wishes you successful trading and a wonderful day.